Uh, next game is called, thank you very much guys for those wonderful sound effects you provided for us. <laughs> so that's hours entertainment for your friends when you're sitting around the blackjack table. <laughs> hey, I can do a camera. Quit, quit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, we're going to move on to a game called uh, Greatest Hits. This is for Ryan and Colin and Brad and Greg. <laughs> now, let me just ask, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? Nothing? Would you, how do you know when you're done? Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest joke in the world. What do you used to do for a living? Uh, cookie. You were a cook? Uh -huh. like, a, like a chef? Oh, good. Songs of the Chef. Uh, so, uh, Colin and Ryan are going to have to make up an album. Uh, they're going to pretend to be selling an album that's all about songs of the chef or songs of the cook. And they're going to make up a name of a song and a style of song. And then all these guys are going to have to make up the song right on the spot for you. It's really, really fun to do. And whenever you're ready, take it away. Hi, we'll be right back to the Missing Letter Theater production of The Count of Monte Cristo in just a second. <laughs> but first, have we got something for you. Oh. Hey, Ryan, what's the matter? Oh, I'm sorry. Just, I'm so stuffed. I feel like falling asleep. I had such a great meal today. <laughs> Food, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not just food, but food prepared the way food should be prepared by an experienced chef. Excellent. They wear those hats. That's how you can tell them from inexperienced people who just like to do things with food. You know, Saul, uh, Colin, it yeah. is Colin, isn't it? Yes, it is. I don't know why I called you Saul. Well, because that's my Egyptian name. Ah. <laughs> You know, we've tried to sell you a lot of CD packages over the years, but I think Songs of the Chef is probably our best yet. I would find it hard to disagree. Really? Try. You're wrong! <laughs> it was, it was easy. Try, was it? <laughs> but I'm wrong. It is a great album. Yeah, it is, Colin. And a lot of styles on here that I grew up with. Hey, what do you think uh, when I say to you, what comes to mind when I say, do you love me madly? <gasps> Don't you love me madly? Jerry Lewis's hair. <laughs> Or The Doors. The Doors is what I was thinking. A band I grew up with. And I think one of my favorite Doors songs of all time has to be, hey, pass the rump roast. Well, I smell something cooking in the kitchen. I don't know if it's really done, but it smells so good, like I knew it would. I just walk up to the table, that is if I'm able, I love it the most. one of the shorter songs on this CD set. That's great. Well, it seems like everybody has music on this album that they grew up with. Really? You know, when I lived in Winnipeg, I was really into surfing, which was really hard because we were pretty far from an ocean. <laughs> so I used to wax up my surfboard and go to the parking lot and glide along the top of cars until people would shoo me away with a gun. Oh, well. <laughs> the 40s must have been a great era. <laughs> Yes, they were, Ryan. <laughs> anyway, that aside, one of my favorite surfing songs, of course, was Cookin' Safari. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. 
But when you get it, fry it up and put it in a chili Come on, baby, if the rest of me is saying sorry Then you can come and go along on a real safari Ooh, look in safari Yeah! Just makes me feel like waxing something. <laughs> Why did you start with that big nose? <laughs> hey, it's not that big, is it? Look. Is it? No, not at all. You know, Colin. Yes, if I can set you up anymore, please tell me. <laughs> You know, Colin. What, Ryan? There's just not songs from the United States on this CD set. No, there are. Have I mentioned, by the way, how much this CD set is? No, you haven't. That's because we haven't set a price yet. So why don't you right now? It is forty-one, forty-one, forty-two. <laughs> it's ninety-six dollars and fourteen cents. Ninety-six dollars and sixty-three cents. That's fourteen cents. Oh, whatever. <laughs> hey, you call in right now. We'll send it in a package. <laughs> you know. As I said, there's songs from all over the world. Yes. And as you know, uh, when I married the third wife, Colin, we yes. vacationed down in the Bahamas. And oh boy, did we have fun listening to that wonderful reggae music. What kind of music was that? Reggae. I see. And I think one of my favorite reggae songs of all time. How yes. do you do that? You sound like Carol Channing. I do. Yeah. Reggae. You're right. <laughs> I think one of my favorite reggae songs of all time has to be Souffleman. Yeah! Come on, everybody, sing that reggae! Oh, yeah! Yo! Cook it up if you can. Come along with the Souffleman. Forget the mosquitoes. Delicious if you cover it with the Ritos. Oh yeah, cook it up so fine. Cook it like a plan. I'm a souffle man. <laughs> I didn't understand a word, but I loved it. <laughs> you know. I just, oh, I thought you knew. No, I do. Oh, uh, one of my favorite rocking groups ever. Queen. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Never heard. The English group? Oh. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> Doogie Hauser would know. Anyway, the, uh, one of my favorite of all the cooking chef related Queen songs that they ever recorded. And there's a lot of them. Oh, two or three at the very least. Is of course their number one hit for over 13 weeks. Saute Rhapsody. <laughs> 